Over the weekend, rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors was seen partying in the strip club with his friends, and everybody has an opinion on it. So I'm going to share mine, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it, and if I think it is a problem or not, or if Joe Shane and Brian Dable should be worried. But first, I want to open up the comment section to everybody watching. What are your thoughts on Malik Neighbors partying in a strip club? I think this will go one of two ways, and... I'm curious what all the real ones have to say. So sound off in the comment section for me right now. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Let's dive into it. Over the weekend, rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors out of LSU, who they selected number six overall in round one, shared a video to his Instagram of him partying in the strip club, throwing some money, dancing to some music, looking like he was having a great time. I'm a little bit jealous, to be quite honest with you. Throwing some money. He was iced out, had the chain on. Um, It looked like a lot of fun. And I know this might be breaking news to some people. NFL players, they party in strip clubs. A lot of them. I'd say at least 90% of the people that have played in the NFL have at least one time stepped their foot into a strip club. That's what they do. That's what NFL players do. That's what NBA players do. That's what athletes do. That's what young people do, especially rich young people. They like to have fun. They like to spend their money. And a place where you can spend a lot of money and have a lot of fun, that's a strip club. Maybe you get some really good chicken wings as well. I would have no idea about that. My main Five takeaways, though, and overall thoughts. One, partying in a strip club, last time I checked, it's not illegal. He didn't do anything against the law. He was there doing nothing but legal activities. And who hasn't partied in a strip club? Like, let's, 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 just, let's just be honest. I, I mean, I never have, of course. But, but who hasn't? He's a young millionaire who's in the off season. And he went and parted at a strip club. Look, I, I, don't, I don't really have any problem with it at all. Don't let, the only thing I would say is, don't let the off the field mess up the on the field. And it's not. Because we saw Malik Neighbors post about a workout video that morning. And that morning after, he posted himself again working out. So he's doing things on the field to make himself better. I don't care if he wants to go to a strip club and spend his own money in his off time. I didn't see a video of him drinking. One, two, I don't care if he's drinking. But it didn't look like he was, so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Number two, the only thing I actually do have a problem with about is this. There was no need to share that post. His friend, I assume his friend, took the video of him, multiple videos, and posted it, the friend posted it to their Instagram story. He then tagged Malik Neighbor. Malik Neighbors did not post that video. He shared it to his Instagram. And that's, if, if I'm being nitpicky at all, which, again, I do not have a problem with him going to the strip club. I just don't love that he shared it to his Instagram. Life is about perception. And I don't want everything in my life I do to be to the public eye. And athletes, they don't either. And they should not. And while drinking and smoke, not saying he was smoking, we smoking weed, drinking, partying, those things can be frowned upon, but they are legal. Let's just not put it out there for everybody to see. I don't need little eight-year-old Marshy going on Instagram Sunday morning seeing Malik neighbors at the strip club. I don't have a problem with it, but you don't need to let him know everybody know what you're doing. You don't have to show everybody you're at the strip club. If I had any problem with it at all, it would be that. You don't have to let everybody get a peek behind the curtains of the Malik neighbor's lifestyle. And that's why I say my next point, just know your surroundings. Know your surroundings. Because everyone wants a piece of Malik neighbors right now. He's a superstar receiver in the making for the New York Giants. Just signed almost a $50 million contract. Drafted inside the top 10. Got to know your surroundings. You got to know people are taking videos of you. You got to know people are posting that, tagging you. Like, people are like, 
oh, look, Johnny's hanging out with Malik Neighbors in the strip club. That's cool. Johnny's thinking, oh, shit, I got a video of me and Malik Neighbors party in the strip club. Again, not a problem. Just no need to share the post and know your surroundings a little bit. Um, and overall, just keep the main thing the main thing. Like the main thing, the reason you're able to go throw thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in the strip club, if you did, not saying you did, is because of the main thing, which is playing football. The reason you're in the position that you are is because of what you do on the football field. And I don't have any problem or any worry that this is taking away from me because we, like we mentioned earlier, I woke up on Sunday morning or Saturday morning and I saw Malik Neighbors putting in work with Tank Dell and other receivers in the NFL, working out with a trainer, posted a video of him getting off a plane, touchdown, immediately going to work. And then he went out and partied, which who, who doesn't party after or like to have fun or go relax or do whatever it is after you work out or you go do work, you do something for your job or you have time off, you take advantage of it. Just keep the main thing the main thing. Football, football, football. Because with it's not a problem. Going to the strip club is not a problem. Partying as a pro athlete is not a problem. Until it is. Until it is. So don't let that stack up. Don't let that be the first of a long laundry list of things. It's not a problem until it is. So right here. Um, we've seen young, talented athletes in New York be torn down by the media. They find these players, whatever it is, and they like to tear them down. Nobody loves doing it more to young, talented receivers in the New York media. We saw them do it to Odell Beckham, right or wrong, deserved it or not deserved it. It became a thing for the media to always talk about him. You know why? Because it was quick-worthy. Because it was newsworthy. And fair or not, this will be something that people talk about when or if Malik Neighbors struggles. When or if Malik Neighbors struggles. We'll go back to the list five just to clear it all out. Um, you go to a beach on Monday, you play in a playoff game on Sunday, and you drop a lot of passes, it's a problem. You go to a strip club, you have a slow start to the rookie year, you don't know the playbook, it's been a little bit of a problem. Overall, it's not a problem. I don't care or I don't not care. It's not illegal. He didn't do anything wrong. He went to a place where he is allowed to go. There's just no need to share the post. You don't need to let all the young Giants fans know that you party in the strip club. You're a role model. People look up to you. That's a privilege. Hone that privilege in. Know your surroundings. You go outside, people want to watch you. People want to look at you. People want to take pictures of you. People want to be seen with you. Keep the main thing the main thing. Don't let all the lights, the glamour, the party, and the money, the strip club, the girls, all that distract you from the main thing, which is football which is football. It's not a problem until it is. And I don't think it'll ever be a problem because that means he wouldn't be playing well or he did more things off the field bad. I don't believe that. Keep the main thing the main thing and don't let bad things stack on top of each other. What's your one-word reaction to Malik Neighbors partying in the strip club? Your one-word reaction. Well, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I wish I just, there's no need for anyone to know about it. What's your one-word reaction to Malik Neighbors' party in the strip club? Meh. Like, meh. So what? Young millionaire, party in the strip club. I don't really care. It, it just doesn't really matter. It's football that I care about. And I don't think that one night in the strip club or any of the other nights that Giants players spent in the strip club or that any of the other 90% of NFL players do not going to affect them. Meh. So what? Who cares? It's July. Welcome to the off season. Make sure you are following me on social media. I'm tweeting and I'm posting about the New York Giants on Twitter as well as on Instagram. Hit me up over there. Let's go Giants.